Okay, so first I'm going to damp my hair and then I'm going to use this Joyco Color Balance Purple Shampoo. Now this shampoo's okay. It definitely gets the job done and I feel like it's kept the cool tones in my hair since I've been using it, but I'll just kind of lather that right into my hair. And I'm really focusing the shampoo to the roots of my hair because that's where it's most brassy right now. So I'm just gonna kinda rub that right in and get into the ends of my hair as well. So then I'm gonna use this scalp massager from Brio Gio. And I really do like this. It's not extremely harsh on my head, so I'll just kind of rub that in every part of my scalp. Now when I use this, I really try to get every part of my scalp because it really helps to kind of exfoliate. And overall, it's just like a good head massager. Then I'm gonna use the Pravana, the Perfect Blonde Hair Mask. And I really do enjoy this mask. I'm almost out of it, I have to get more. But I'm going to focus it on the roots of my hair and then slowly bring it down to the rest of my hair. And this is just going to kind of help revitalize that blonde and make it more cool toned. You're going to want to leave it in for five minutes. Then I'm going to go in with It's a 10 Miracle Deep Plus Keratin Conditioner. Well, this is like a deep conditioner, but I use it like a normal conditioner. So I'll apply it everywhere down to my roots and I usually let this sit in for about two minutes and I do use this every time I wash my hair and because I dye my hair I definitely need that extra hydration and repair and this it's a 10 keratin is awesome it keeps my hair nice and soft and super fresh and it smells good then I'm going to wash my body using this love beauty and planet body wash this is in the scent turmeric and tonic essence I really love this body wash. It's super moisturizing and the scent is almost like a vanilla warm spice scent. I don't know. It smells super good. I love it. Next, I'm going to use this Neutrogena body wash in pink grapefruit. This one has 2% salicylic acid and I only use this on my back because I do struggle with some back acne. And I swear just doing this step has helped my back acne so much it's almost gone. And when I shave, I'll just use this Gillette shaver and this Tree Hut Vanilla Bean Shave Oil, which I love. Okay, so lastly, I will cleanse my face, and I've been using this Philosophy Cleanser called Clear Days. I love this cleanser. It has kind of like a citrus scent to it. Then I'll just use my Clarisonic, and I'll go ahead and wash my face and lather it up. This cleanser has salicylic, so it does help with acne and I'll just wash my entire face so I can get a good deep cleanse with my Clarisonic. And I didn't use this today, but if I want to exfoliate beyond my Clarisonic, I will use this Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Exfoliant. This is a super good product to get rid of all the dead skin. Now I'm nice and clean. Okay, so once I'm out of the shower, I'll use this Dermalogica Clear Start Spray and I'll just spray it all over my back to kind of help with my back acne. And after that, I'll tame this mess. So first I'll spray this Briogeo leave-in conditioning spray. And I think I got this in a boxy charm not too long ago, um, but it's just a mini size. And this will kind of help detangle everything. So I'll just spray this everywhere. I also really been enjoying this because I feel like after I brush my hair, it, keeps it nice and soft. Then I'll just start brushing my hair. So once I have my hair all brushed through, I've been using this Redken Extreme Anti-Snap Anti-Breakage Leave-In for distressed hair. I always get my hair balayage, so it's definitely a bit damaged at the end because of all the hair dye. But I'll do about two pumps and then I'll just apply it to my ends where it needs the most love. So I also wanted to show you guys my night skincare routine. It's pretty simple. So I always use this Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum and I'll just do one pump. And I'll apply it to my entire face, forehead, and I love this stuff, it seriously has helped my skin so much. My skin is so smooth because I do have more textured skin 
and since I've been using it, it's like helped so much with my texture and acne scarring. So I'll let that sit for a minute and then I like to apply my eye cream. So I've been using the Ordinary Caffeine Solution Eye Cream and I'll just put a little drop on my finger. Apply that. Same thing on this side. Then, I've been using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Juice Moisturizer. And I'll literally do like a pump and a half and then same thing, just everywhere. It's a super thin moisturizer, it feels like water. And for my lips, I have this gigantic thing of Aquaphor. This is just kind of like a healing ointment, so I'll use it if I have extremely dry, cracked skin, but it's a great lip balm too. So for body moisturizer, I've been using this Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. I also got this in a BoxyCharm. I've been just trying to use it up. I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I like the original, but I don't want to waste it. And it's not awful. I love the way it feels on my skin. I just, not the biggest fan of the scent. I don't know how to describe it, like a caramel scent to it. It almost smells like popcorn too. It's weird. I also like to spray this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender at night. It's just super relaxing and it gives an extra boost of hydration. I always need that. And that is everything I do at night when I get out of the shower. And I feel so clean. I love it. I also wanted to show you guys a couple beauty products that I finished. So a couple empties. I used to love seeing like empty videos back in the day. Like do people still make those? I love seeing those videos. Anyways. So I only have a couple items, but first I have this Love Beauty and Planet Luscious Hydration Body Lotion. And I use this whole thing. It smells so good. It smelled like coconuts, really fresh, clean coconuts. But I really, really love this brand because they're vegan, plant-based. They don't have silicones, dyes, parabens. Um, and made from 100% recycled goods. But overall, I really enjoyed this and I probably will be buying it again. It made my skin feel really soft and definitely hydrated. I also finished up a body wash from the same brand and this is called the Maru Maru Butter and Rose Bountiful Moisture body wash. Now this one was really cool because it looked like a lotion. When you applied it on the body, it kind of felt like a lotion too, but it obviously lathered up pretty good. After using this, my skin felt so moisturized and super clean and I loved the scent of the rose. It, some rose scents aren't the best, but this one, it wasn't overpowering. It smelled more like a clean rose scent, but I just bought a new one in it that you saw me use earlier in the shower and that one smells really good. It's like a vanilla scent. I also finished up this salicylic acid cleanser from the in key list. Now I really like this because I do struggle with some acne and I felt like it did help. The only thing I didn't like about it is I felt like it didn't really lather up as good so um, if I had like a full face of glam on I'd have to double cleanse for sure and for the price point I might purchase it again. I don't know because it's not very expensive. It was like 10 bucks. Then I finished the small size of this Kate Somerville exfoliate. I really really enjoyed this. It definitely helped my skin and was a great exfoliator that I used after cleansing my face in the shower. And the last thing I finished up this month is this LA Girl Ultimate Intense Auto Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Nonstop Nude. This is my favorite lip liner ever. Like I'll literally just wear this by itself all the time. I love this. I already have a backup of it. So I recently posted a video talking about some items that I got off of Amazon that I use every day or that I use for organization. And these were on it. And what these are are like drawer dividers. So I basically put them together into a bunch of little squares and I made a huge little set for my lipstick. And I just recently did it for my foundations. I know it's a lot, but makeup is literally my passion. So I'm going to make a smaller one for some of my primers. So I think I'm gonna make a smaller one about maybe like this, like this big to put some of my primers in that'll fit. So kind of like this, but just a little smaller. And I'll show you guys how I do that. I will also link these below because they're pretty cool and extremely affordable compared to like the pre-made acrylic organizers. So you just want to grab a couple pieces and like match them and they'll just slide right into each other. So I'm probably going to have each slot be about that big. 
And then these are too big for my Alex drawers, so I probably will trim them to be a little bit smaller so that they fit. Okay, so I have the organizer made and it fits perfectly. So I have this other tiny little acrylic piece that I'm gonna keep the bigger primers in and then um, just whatever ones that'll fit in here. So it made about 18 little slots. Okay, so I'm gonna start putting ones that'll fit in here. Maybe I'll put in this row, I'll put more of the glowy ones. These are some of my favorite primers from First Aid Beauty. So I have to make sure it shuts too. Some of them are too tall, like this one. So I'll probably put this in over here somewhere. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna put it in any specific order. I'm just gonna start putting whatever fits. And then I'll do the ones that obviously don't fit in here on this side. Let's see, like these ones will fit together in here. I'll put a few in there. This is one of my favorite primers from Becca. Okay, so this is the final outcome. I just put all the circular ones over here and just miscellaneous and then my smaller travel size tube ones over there and then just whatever fit in here. I didn't organize it in any specific way. And then all the ones that are too big, I just put them in this little basket back here. But I do have a couple extra, so I might make another one of these for lipsticks, I don't know. Okay, so I finally made it in bed and I'm so tired, I can't wait to go to sleep. And it's already past 11. I'm not used to staying up this late, but I just felt like I had a lot to do because I hadn't washed my hair in a while and I wanted to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to relax, watch some TV. I'm watching Oxygen Channel. Does anyone else watch Oxygen? It's literally like my favorite channel ever. Give it a thumbs up if you watch Oxygen. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and please subscribe. It would help me so much and I will see you in the next one.